Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Kyle. Kyle, you have some questions regarding reading music. Yeah, um, just looking at the sheet here, and earlier we were talking about the F sharp. I um, was wondering how you know to play F sharp versus an F natural, if just by looking at the piece. Very good. So most likely, if you're just starting violin, you're going to want to play in D major. And the way that you know that you're playing in D major is going to be by the key signature. So for those of you guys who have never played musical, a musical instrument before, I'm going to explain to you what a key signature is. Basically, the first thing you see in a musical piece is the treble clef symbol. Okay? To the right of that is what we call the key signature. And it's either going to have number symbols, which are sharps, or little Bs, which are flats. You're not going to see Bs for a while, though. So sharps is kind of the first things you learn on the violin. If there's two sharps in the key signature, two little number symbols, it means that you're in the key of D. Okay? If there's one, it'd be a different key. If there's three, it'd be a different key. But when you're first learning violin, most likely you're going to always learn D major, which is two sharps. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay? Now, Kyle, when there's two sharps in the key signature, it's always the same sharps. It's never going to be like, you know, this song, these two notes are higher, this song, these two notes are higher. It's always going to be the same. F sharp, C sharp. Okay? Now what a sharp does is it raises the note. Okay? So normally, okay, if there was no sharps, nothing in the key signature, absolutely nothing, it was blank. That would mean that you would play A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay? But when there's two sharps, it means that it's going to be A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. So those two letters are raised. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now the reason why you learn that when you first learn violin is because D major is the easiest to, to understand where to put fingers down. Because it works out that your 1, your 2, and the 3 are the same on the A and the D string. So that's the reason why we learn D major and not like C major which has nothing. So we first learn A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. Okay? Mm. So your second finger on the D string, what letter is that, Kyle? F sharp. F sharp, correct. So if we were in the key of C major, it would be low to F natural. But since we're in D, it's high to. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, how about on the, set, on the A string? What um, letter are we dealing with the second finger? It's going to be C sharp. C sharp. So it would be in this position. Okay? So the key of, uh, I'm just going to do a scale. So the D major scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. See how that worked? If this was at all confusing to you guys, please visit my website. I have a lot of um, on both sides of this, more advanced versions of explaining this or less advanced versions. So if you've never played musical instrument before, this is any bit over your head, don't you worry. Um, there's a lot more simple explanations of this. But if you've been playing maybe you know longer and, and you're really interested in this concept, you know there's a lot of things I can say about it with, with, when it comes to music theory. Do you have any other questions that kind of clarify um, a little bit of you know sharps and basic D major. Yeah, you said the symbol farthest to the left, the treble, that's, we don't have to really worry about that, we're always going to be in trouble for the violin. Correct. When you play the piano, there's two different clefs. There's the treble clef, which is the right hand, and there's the bass clef, which is the left hand. But violin's always the treble clef, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So no matter how advanced it is, always treble clef. So it's good to know. Any other questions? I think you covered it, thanks. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, and like I said, please visit my website, violintutorpro.com. Got a great selection of lessons on there, and hopefully we'll keep teaching you guys more and more. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.